Hi, this is Dave and thanks for checking out this video. What I thought I would work on today is a quick fix that I have come up with in the studio where we have when it when the bangs separate from the rest of the hair. And it happens a lot when we're shooting young ladies inside and outside the studio. Uh, they can just move a little bit and the bangs will separate and create this gap in the hair. And it's pretty annoying. I know they hate it and I really hate it because that's always the one they want it seems like. So um, this is just a way to combat that a little bit. So well, I'm going to go ahead and erase this layer for now and we'll just start start from scratch. What I'm going to do is grab the lasso tool and I'm going to grab some hair next to this area because it kind of follows the same curve. So I'm just going to grab here with a lasso tool and I'm going to do a larger selection so I can move it around a little bit. Um, right now what I want to do is copy it to its own layer. So since I have it selected I'm just going to hit a command J and what that does is that copies it to its own layer. So that's all that's on that layer now. I'm going to go grab the move tool. We're going to move that hair into a little better better spot for, for the, to cover up that area. And it doesn't fit very well. So what we're going to do is go over to edit and then puppet warp. And that will allow us to kind of follow the curve of the hair a little better. Just by kind of bending it around. And it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. We're just trying to get it close. And then we're going to hit the check mark. Commit that. And uh, now what we have is we have an area where if you zoom in on it, it doesn't look right. It doesn't line up. So what we want to do is add a layer mask to the hair layer. Just that little piece that we'd copied. We're going to hit that little square with a circle in the bottom, which is a layer mask. Now when we're painting on a layer mask, the, the white allows everything to be seen and the black covers up a little bit. So what we want to do is toggle back and forth between the black and the white to allow some of the areas to come through. So we're going to grab our, our brush tool, which is a shortcut B. We are now in the brush tool. We want black selected so we can basically hide some of this information. So we're going to start just painting in that. I'm going to crank my opacity up to 100%. And what we can do is kind of almost erase that area that we brought in. Now with her hair, what I don't want to do is mess up this long line here. So we're going to bring that line back. So with the mayor last mask selected, I'm just going to paint in and try and bring that area back. Because I want to keep that in the forefront. Now in doing that, I went a little too far, which is fine. So I'm going to be still painting on the layer mask. I'm going to toggle back to white so I'll be bringing that information back. By hitting the X key it's going to toggle back to white between these two colors and make white the foreground color. And I'm just going to bring that back. I'm going to actually bring my opacity to about 50 percent. And I'm just going to be pulling that back just a little bit in there. And I don't mind being able to see just a little partial through there. That doesn't bother me at all. I just don't want to be able to see that large chunk there. So now when we're looking at this, we can also see some areas in here where it's still kind of tweaked a little bit. I need to get rid of that. So I need to toggle back to the black, which is hitting the X key again. And I'm just going to paint that out. I'm going to bring it back up to 100%. I'm going to make my brush a little larger, and it's a soft brush, so it'll allow some of the areas to sort of feather off. And I'm just kind of cleaning up the area and getting rid of the area that I don't need that to show. And if we kind of just jump back and forth, you can still see some areas through here where I still need to get rid of that a little bit. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of erase that using the, the brush. And I'm just going to kind of follow where I remember that line roughly being. And here I kind of went a little too far because you can start to see through. So I'm going to dial my opacity back again to about 50%. And then what I'm going to do is toggle back to the white, hitting the X key. I'm going to actually make my brush just a little bit smaller and then kind of come in here and bring that area back again. And it's just a lot of going back and forth until you can get it exactly the way you want it. It takes a lot longer when you're trying to talk and make a video out of it at the same time. So if we look at it, looks pretty good, pretty believable. Um, if you went in and looked at every single fine hair, it might not, you know, be it, it might be a little more obvious that it doesn't work, but for the most part it's a good way to cover up 
cover up an area. Works great with darker hair, also works on blonde hair and pretty much everything else. You just got to work a little harder at it depending on the situation. Uh, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, just shoot me a, a message on YouTube and I'd try and answer anything I can. Thanks for watching.